Hi guys, so today we're going to do Stray Kids as Parents. I'm only going to do the Hunger Line today. You know, I might insert someone. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel by the end. Uh, I feel like the Hunger Line is going to be a lot easier than the Machinae because the Machinae are still so young. But I feel like it may be difficult. <laughs> so we're going to try. And we're going to see how it goes. Because, of course, I'm recording last minute because... I could record this yesterday, but why would I do that? <laughs> well, to be honest, though, I actually spent most of the weekend cleaning my apartment. Even though the view you guys get, you probably wouldn't believe that I've been cleaning it. But yes, <laughs> I've been cleaning my apartment. So let's see. Let's start with Bang Chen. What would Bang Chen's parenting style be? Okay. Eh. Let's try that again. Parenting style. Okay. I feel like I would like two more cards. Okay. I don't actually know what that means in reverse. Gotta go with that one. Okie dokie. Let's get in the book so I can remind myself the story behind these cards because um, not every tarot deck has the same meaning for the same cards. There's often lots of meanings. So first off we started with the Ace of Coins or the Ace of Pentacles. Um, yeah, he's definitely... This card is like the abundance card, um, money, security, investments. Um, maybe he will, from like a, when his kids are very young, um, do investments for them. Like he might invest in certain stock, um, potentially, for his children to maybe cash in on once they're like adults or if they like ever in a bind where they need money they have money he also probably be big on doing like saving accounts as soon as his kids are born and like putting money in there for like education so the next card we have is the five of swords um mm. I can't say too much about this because this is a personal issue. Um, let me put this in this way, the way that I best can, is that I don't see him having any tolerance for like bullying from his children. He has, like, he would have zero tolerance for that kind of behavior if his kids did act like that way. Um, it would be very difficult for them to earn trust back with him. Card I got in reverse is the Nine of Wands. So, Nine of Wands in reverse is a stalemate, um, stubbornness, persistence, giving in, and paranoia. He may be overprotective um, and stubborn. Well, that's basically the description of him. We've talked about this before, is that that's kind of his energy, and that will probably continue to be his energy. It's like, there's nothing wrong with being protective, but I feel like at times it's going to be also exhausting for his children. They'll be like, can't you just give in a little bit and just let me live my life is the energy I'm getting. Um, so, again, no one is absolutely perfect. I mean, if you are, then there's usually something underneath the surface that nobody else sees. So, we have the Page of Swords. Um, 
he will definitely, I think, nourish them to be more sociable, like, and also, he seems very truthful with his kids, like, he doesn't seem to hide too much, it's like, especially if they're asking him, like, questions like why something is the way it is, or like, particularly why questions, so it's like when the kids are, like, I feel like, when he has kids and the kids are constantly asking why, he doesn't get frustrated. He actually tries to explain truthfully why things are the way they are. So, for example, the kid asks, like, like, why is there a moon? He's going to explain why there is a moon and what the moon does or things like that. Or, like, why is the sky blue? Why is grass green? Like, those kind of questions. And, he, like, he's definitely going to give, like, a very scientific answer in a way that the child can understand. Like, he's not going to try to explain, like, about the atmosphere to, like, a two-year-old, for example. Because, I mean, they barely understand much of anything at that point yet. So, you're not going to explain about the atmosphere. I'm sorry, the puppy is trying to chew a box. So, <laughs> you're just gonna have to know, like, ignore the chewing noise. Because if I yell at him, well, not really yell at him, scold him, he'll find something new to terrorize. And the box he can at least not hurt. So, the Ace of Swords is the next one. That's <laughs> coins. Give me the Ace of Swords. Okay. Again, this is coming back to truth. Where he's always going to be very honest um, with his kids. And also, I think he's definitely going to encourage like creative thinking as well. And sort of support any sort of new projects that they start. Like, he's always going to be interested in what they're doing. Um... Always sort of investing into whatever new hobby that they have. Um, like if they suddenly aren't doing drawing, he's going to go out and buy stuff for drawing. And like he'll always be asking to see their new art, for example. It's like, oh, what do you, what have you drawn recently? And always be interested in it and asking questions about it. Like not just being like, oh, th that's a pretty picture. And then just walking away. It's like he wants to know, oh, like... What is the purpose of this? What does this mean? Um, why did you draw this particular picture? Those kinds of questions, for example. Like, he's very really actually invested in what his children are doing. And we also have the Eight of the Wands. This was the last card. Which, um, yeah, I could see travel being important for him to make sure his kids experience the world. Um, you know, so it's like he wants them to have like an exciting childhood. Like he doesn't want them to have like very, like not average, but like, or maybe the word I'm like, stereotypical childhood where like you only really experience like one culture and that's really all you know it's like he wants them to experience many cultures when they're young and exposing them to many different ideas and ways of thinking from the time they're young therefore it's like they don't grow up with this sort of like close-minded perception of the world if that makes sense <laughs> to you everybody um where is hmm. I'm looking for one particular deck and I don't know where I put it. No. Hmm. Ah. Alright, so let's look at his relationship with his children. Wow. Ooh, okay. Alright. You guys are not shuffling well. 
Let's see. Let's look at this relationship with this COVID. Hey, don't bite the bed. No. Thank you. Okay. Okay, um, what is this? Okay. So there is quite a bit going on here. So we have the Seven of Cups, the Two of Cups in reverse, the Sun in reverse, Judgment, the Tower, Death. Um, so basically what I'm kind of seeing here is like, mm, I feel like sometimes you might get a little too caught up in what could be. Or like this sort of like fantasy of idea of this family. And um, particularly as they enter their teen years, it will get a little bit more tricky because they'll start kind of drifting away from him. And um, at first I feel like he's not going to understand why, but it really comes from like the control aspect we've already discussed. Because the Sun Reverse deals with lying to the truth, so he doesn't really see it's kind of his own doing. Um, the Tower is sort of like a moment where it all changes. Like, this doesn't feel negative to me, but it's like... I think when the first child goes off to college, there's like a switch that turns off in him. Or like, moves out and he realizes that, like... His need to, like... Being in control has led to like a lot of missed opportunities with his children and then you sort of see where the death comes in and there's change um, and it is sort of an ending but it's not a negative ending because we also have the judgment card here which is like self-evaluation awakening and forgiveness because like I said he's always been very truthful with his parenting style so i think like he would want to have an honest open conversation with this child and figure out what happened and before he actually like goes through the period where he actually reflects i feel like this could be difficult because i feel like if the child were to straight up tell him like in their teen years before they move out he would just reject the idea that it's like his fault but I think once they move out and they drift far apart from him he would be able to see that he sort of caused this and admit that he caused it and want to try to fix it um, because the next group of cards I got was a king of swords which basically reminds me of Bang Chen which is like um, very logical persona. Um, I mean, so like, I feel like this energy really fits him. So I think... Um, and then we have the Three of Wands returning home and Six of Swords, Calmer Waters, Moving Head, and Healing. Um, for example, I could see where he might have a child that maybe decides to go study overseas or something. 
And it's like they don't really have any communication with him for like the whole time they're in university or something. And then they come back and they're like, yeah, that could be what happens. And then it's like after that point, their relationship is sort of able to heal. Like this feels like specific with one child in particular. So let me see if there's multiple children. That's a lot of cards. Like, let's see. Mm, okay. Okay. Give me cards with numbers. So I have Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Four of Coins, Four of Cups. So, I'm between one to four children. Uh, potentially. Let's see, what's, what would the relationship be with the other children? This feels... Okay, so for his other children, like, I feel this is particularly with his oldest, there might be a little bit of an age gap, like, not a big one, maybe, like, five years or so, where it's, like, he's kind of, like, matured as a parent by the time he has the other children, where it's, like, he has, like, moved away from the sort of controlling anxiety he gets with, like, the first child a little bit where it's like there's a lot easier flow of energy because we have the world a completion of a cycle so it's like whatever was causing this sort of control problem like ends um like when the next child like come like as they grow up it's like he actively is ending that cycle um when the first one maybe it's like he tried, but maybe there was, like, a certain aspect of their personality that sort of triggered that reaction within him that made him worried about them. Whereas, like, the other kids, it's like, they seem to have a lot, like, different personality, like, energy around them, where maybe he doesn't see himself as much in the other children as he does in the first one. And, like, and that is why he was, like, so strict and controlling with the first child, because he saw himself in that child and was afraid that this child could make some of the same decisions he regrets making when he was younger. And because we also had the Page of Wands and the Emperor. The Emperor is the, like, perfect father figure in the tarot. And we also had the Page of Wands which is rushing in, like, head first, bright ideas, and good news. So, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. But, I do think there's a potential here that maybe, um, his kids may take, like, him being as involved as he is, or being the type of father he is, they might take it for granted. And they might not be able to relate to the oldest because they experience a very different version of their father. Um, and that might cause, like, I feel like a little bit of tension in between the siblings. Because they just can't relate to each other very well. Or it's like, the older one, like, and they really see him, like, rolling their eyes at, like, the younger ones when they're talking about their relationship with their father. Like, it's a little bit of passive-aggressive there. Um... Interesting. Okay. <laughs> so I feel like that could be something that does happen. Um, the other card that came out was the Seven of Wands, which is persistence, manifesting idea, and hard work pays off. Like I said, I feel like it's going to be particularly hard for him in general, not even outside of the children, to be able to let go of control. That's going to be something that he has to like actively 
and continuously continue to work against. That was so many cards I pulled for that. Okay. We're gonna move these guys over. And let's look at the guidance. Kind of interested in what they might say. Okay. So we have the Shaman, Tristan Higher Forces, Broken Arrow, Embrace the Energy of Peace, and Winter, Take Care of Your Needs. Um, actually, fascinating enough, this Winter card has a wolf on it. Um, these are very Native American inspired, so it sounds surprising. Okay, so the Shaman, um, again, I feel like this comes back to his control issues. He has trust, like... He has issues trusting the universe to bring in good things into his life. Um, and he has to sort of put trust in when, like, this one child, like, really, like, when his oldest really drifts far away from him, that eventually they will, like, return home and they would be able to, like, heal that relationship. Um, the Broken Arrow, um, the other, like I said, the control issues would create, like, direct conflicts. Between him and his oldest being like, definitely where it's like, you're not letting me live my life. And where Bang Chen doesn't want to give in at all because he's afraid if he gives control that the child would just sort of go down a path that isn't good. I think is the best way to describe it. Or, like, a path, like, that he doesn't want them to go down if they don't have to go down that way. Um, and this card is saying, it's like, you have to let go of that need to control this child and embrace this energy of peace, not conflict, in order to sort of bend that relationship. The winters take care of your needs. I see this is kind of an indicator that it's like you need to like take care of like the mental health like trauma aspect in order to avoid this like and maybe this isn't set in stone the future can change um but again i also feel like this child in particular there's just something about them there's like a trigger for that aspect of himself that he at this point, seems to have under control, but for whatever reason, this particular child triggers that. So, I feel like he has to learn to recognize when he's falling into those patterns and sort of looking at why that's happening. And if he sees the fact that the reason he's doing it is because there is a certain similarity or what that aspect is that triggers him, like, once he realizes it, I feel like he you can gain control of it. Okay, so let's go into the you no know, after I shuffle everything because you don't want any cross energies. When I do readings like this, there is always that potential for cross energies. And. That's good. Let's do this deck. There we go.
dookie. And here we go. Alright. Let's see what we get. Whoa. Okay. I think I put it off here. Ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh. One more. One more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. 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 Alright. <clears throat> we have a couple reversals that aren't good reversals, but we'll talk about that. We got the Page of Coins, Seven of Coins, Ten of Swords in reverse. Alright, Ten of Swords. Yes. Justice card in reverse, uh, six of wands in reverse, and the seven of wands upright. So let's get into it. We got a lot of reversals. Um, the page of coins is the manifest manifestation card. Um, so I feel like he would be. Very good at like. Um, manifesting good opportunities for his children and also I feel like he would be very good at setting like proper like expectations and goals and boundaries for his children he'd be very good at that aspect and he's very like he has like a positive energy around parenthood so let's look at the seven coins here. Um, so the seven of coins, um, he may actually be really into um, like setting up a sort of system with his kids where um, it's like in order to like buy things like it's definitely more of an allowance type system but it's not like a normal allowance where it's not just based on chores it's also based on like behaviors where it's like he's not into like punishing bad behaviors per se but rewarding the good behaviors by like maybe gift giving or like um, I could see him, like, having, like, some sort of, like, reward chart type thing, where it's, like, if they get, like, so many points in that charge for, like, doing chores or having good behavior, they're able to go get something from the store. And let's, let's deal with this ten of swords. Okay, um... Ten of swords is surviving disaster, recovery, regeneration, and the inevitable. Um, I'm trying to put this in the aspect of parenthood. Like, I feel like there might be a point where things could go really badly. Where, like, there's a certain situation where it's, like, this could be, like, a disaster for the outcome. But it turns out not to be. And they're sort of able to, like, buy, like ride the wave of what happens. Oh, this justice card. Okay. Justice card reverse. He has some serious trust issues with his children. Um, and also, there may be an aspect of... He hides a certain aspect of his life from them, or they hide a certain aspect of their life from him. Um, also, the Justice card here literally represents Korea in this deck, um, where maybe sometimes I feel like he could fall into more negative aspects of Korean parenting. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stop there because I don't really want to dig into that. Uh, we get the Six of Wands in reverse.
Yeah, his ego may get in his way sometimes when it comes to his parents. Um, or there might be a certain point where his children's view of him will change dramatically. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have a good idea where that's going, but nope, 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 nope. Okay, Seven of Wands. Um, endurance, fighting for beliefs, perseverance, mounting a defense. Um, I feel like he would work very hard to earn their trust back if they, if there was ever a situation where his children lost trust in him, he would work very hard to bring it back. Let's look at his relationship with his children, even though we just got a little bit of it. Whoa. Okay. I can't say that. I can't say that here. Okay, there's one card I can't say. I'll just show you. Seven of Swords. If you know what that means, you understand the situation. If you don't, then. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Eight of Wands, which is rapid change and domino effect. Seven of Cups, wishful thinking, endless possibilities and fantasy. The moon is intuition, dreams, and illusion. Um, I kind of almost feel like there's like this illusion around the perfect family. Because that's what I'm kind of getting from the Seven of Wands. It's sort of like this fantasy world that was created. Like this perfect family world. Um, and also the Seven of Cups to me could indicate that this is still flexible and could change. Uh, like I said with the Eight of Wands, I feel like there would be something that event that would occur that would change the view of his children around him. Um, let's look at let's look at how many kids he might have. Oh, God, no. Okay. So, anywhere from two to six. So, we got the two of cups, four of coins, four of wands, six of cups. There's also the sun. Uh, there could be a potential for, like, multiples. Um, for some reason, I'm seeing the sun. I'm seeing these sunflowers, and I'm thinking of fertility. So, potential for um, multiples here. And also, one child may be a Leo. Perhaps. Okay. Let's put these aside. Into the pile they go. I'm sorry, I can't ever say what I got in that one card because these things can change. <laughs> so, I'll leave that be. Okay. I'm feeling drawn for one more. Okay. So, arrows, surround yourself with protective energy. There could be someone around him. This feels current. This is definitely current guidance, not guidance related to parenthood. Um, where there's someone around him that does not have good intentions, and he needs to, like, surround himself with positive energy to avoid... The negative energy this person puts off. The sun, enjoy success and happiness. This card's all about being in the moment and enjoying what is currently happening. Um, animal guardian, trust your instincts. I think he knows this particular person is not a good person to be around or has a lot of negative energy and he's aware of it. So he needs to trust his intuition about this person. And your guardian, take time to reflect. Um, this usually deals with some soul searching and looking back on like choices or decisions that maybe have not been the best and sort of being able to look at it from the bigger picture. Or like sometimes it can also be a bad event that happened that is sort of like something where you're like, why did this happen? But if you take a step back and you look at the bigger picture, it's like you're usually able to understand that there was sort of like a reason for this experience. Okay, let's shuffle once again.
Uh, let me try to show this not in frame. So I don't get a copyright claim. <laughs> that was so ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> well, let's take a look at Chwingbangs. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I struggle with this name. I'm going to take that up right. What is that? Okay. <laughs> Just another card I get often. Um, some of these have interesting cultural um, things on them. <laughs> oh. Wow. Whoa. Lots of cards. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> we have eight cards here. Uh, we got the Queen of Wands. Three of Coins, which is the card that fascinated me because I was fascinated by those two creatures in the back. I don't know anything about that story. It looks probably Indonesian. Uh, we got Seven of Wands, Four of Cups in Reverse, Five of Coins. Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups, and Strength card. He has a lot of Leo on his chart, doesn't he? If I remember correctly. Is he a triple Leo or something? I don't know. <laughs> I just mean that I remember thinking he has a lot of Leo on his chart. Queen of Wands. Oh, is that important? Uh, I can't tell. To respond to this.
Okay, I'll try to shut it. Okay. Let's be going on this. I'm getting too distracted. Queen of Wands. Optimism, independence, confidence, passion, and nerve. Passion and Leo kind of go together. Um, he may be a very passionate, like, parent where he's very, like, invested in his children's life and, like, um, I could see him also wanting to do a lot with his children, too. And also, I feel like he, um, would want them to teach, like, teach them strong independence from an early age. So let's look at the three of coins. Ah, the story is from Nepal. Starting growth, collaboration, success, and recognition. Um, he may continue to be in the spotlight after he becomes a parent. Um, and also, he may put a lot of investment into his children's education as well. And if his children were to go into the music in the industry, he would want to do something like, like create a song with them or something, perhaps, like with collaboration. Or, for example, if he had his own company, he would want them to be in his company. Like, not in a controlling aspect, but because he wants to help them grow as a musician. Whatever the wands, this is just really hardworking energy where it's like, um, he puts a lot of effort into, like, his parenting, perhaps. Like, I'm looking at these nails, and this guy's hammering these nails into their, like, rocks here. Where it's, like, sort of, like, he puts in, sort of, like, groundwork for his children. Uh, Four of Cups in the verse. Um... So, yeah, he may have a lot of, like, opportunities and, um, that he creates for his children. He's very motivated as a father. Like, being a father, I think, motivates him more as, like, almost a musician, where it gives him even more desire to do like, better things? Like, that's not the wording I want. I'm, like, making a bigger impact with his music. And there's a lot of optimism in this card, so maybe it's, like, when he has children, this gives him kind of a renewed hope in the world. Because we do have the five of coins, which, if you don't know, the five of coins is usually deals with adversity, isolation, um, like financial ruin, those kind of things. But what I see this is maybe when he has children. This is when you could see him, like, maybe leave, like, stray kids and go off on his own. It's like when he marries and starts having kids, then he might want to leave, like, the whole group aspect and being part of an agency and want to make his own agency. I think you would see that at that point, whenever this were to occur, because they're still fairly young, so who knows? This could be many years down the line. I mean, <laughs> I'm not good at predicting timelines. That's not something I'm good at. Let's look at... Oh, it's getting cold. 
turning that air conditioner off. Seven of Cups. Um, again, he might be another one that sort of gets caught up in this fantasy of, like, what a family should be, perhaps. Um, or here, I think this story is based on Aladdin. Yeah. So it's like, there's many opportunities out there for him. And he'll have to pick the right opportunity. How this deals with his parenting is like maybe once he decides to like leave um, JY and kind of go on his own, he would have many opportunities open for him for where he wants to go and he has to pick the best decision. So it's like this would be like before. Like, it really comes into, like, having the family. It's, like, having to make this best decision. Um, and we do have the Ten of Cups, which is, like, the ideal family card. Like, the happy family. So, he definitely will have that. I think he's said in a couple interviews that he does want to have children. So, I'm not surprised to see that here. Like, I feel like he's somebody, if he wants something, he's going to have it one way or another. Um, the strength is courage, conviction, control, determination, and patience. Um, he would probably be a very patient father. Like, he would not be someone that gets frustrated with his children because they can't do something. Or it's like they're taking a really long time with, a, like, getting ready or something. Or, like... If they're throwing a tantrum, he's not someone who, like, would get easily upset by it. It's like, he's very patient with his approach with it, and he would keep going until, like, the problem is solved. Or until they calm down. He's, you, like, he'd be very good at waiting out tantrums until they're finished. Like, some people would get flustered by it, but he would just sit there and wait it up. Like, wouldn't really say much of anything and just wait for the toddler to stop. So, like, it does feel like he wouldn't, like, sometimes when you ignore a child, like, a toddler's tantrum, you also kind of, eval like, invalidate their emotions and feelings. It doesn't feel like that aspect to me. It just feels like, it'd be like, okay, when you're ready to talk, let's talk once you're done being upset, we can talk, sort of thing. Let's look at his relationship with his children. Okay. I think there is a strong possibility he would have at least one child that would also be in the music industry. Because we have the Eight of Coins, which is the apprenticeship card, to where it's like he would sort of like mentor their growth as a musician. Um, but I feel like this could also cause some conflicts because I feel at times this child could be um, a little bit like unmotivated at times even though they have the talent they don't always have the follow like the follow through particularly when they're younger it's like they say they want to do this but they don't necessarily put all the work in um so that could be a frustrating aspect you may have to deal with i feel like he would have a hard time with a child like that as well <laughs> Um, we do have the Hermit in Reverse here, which, um, maybe there's a little bit of, like, he's not around as much, being, like, an active, like, celebrity and stuff, um, where there's, like, a little bit of, like, a, like, separation, in, like, in their relationship as a child gets older, like, 
Because the Hermione verse is like withdrawal, like isolation, loneliness. So maybe as like the child gets old, like older, our children, they kind of like go through the teenage time when they sort of just live in their room and isolate themselves from everybody. I feel like that could be a difficult period for him. Um, so the Ace of Cups, like, there is definitely really, like, strong, like, connection that's very, like, happy and joyful. Um, the Seven of Cups, we still have hard work. So, it's like, I feel like the work he's putting in now will pay off when he has his children. And it's like, his children will be able to benefit from the work he puts in. Um... We do have the Fool in Reverse, which goes back to this procrastination issue, which I feel like goes with the with one particular child. Uh, we do have the Queen of Cups, which is in insecurity, obsession, and spite, because it's in reverse. Um, so perhaps it's like... Hmm, I don't know how this applies. And we do have the Four of Cups with Apathy, Meditation, and Regret. So maybe there's an aspect of when they're going through those teen years where he might be a little too controlling. And then as they get older, he kind of regrets how controlling he was back then. Um, but we do have the world, which is completion, wholeness, and the end of a cycle. So I feel like once they get through this particular period, it's like the relationship will tick back up. Let's see how many kids... Out of curiosity. King of Cups. That's not going to help me. That's not going to help me. That's a... Oh, come on. Give me cards with numbers. This deck always does this to me. No. Okay. Um... Ace, ace. Okay, so I think I'm seeing like anywhere between like one to three. Um, there was the nine of coins, and there was no way I ever see any of them having nine kids, so I reduced that to three in my head. Um, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords would be one. We do have the Lovers, which I'm, like, not thinking of. Like, I'm thinking about this in, like, two. So maybe there is, like, a set of twins and then one single child, perhaps. Because, like, it feels like a pair. Yeah. Otherwise, all the other cards were, like, Major Arcana or, like, <laughs> other cards without numbers. So, let me collect all these cards. There's so many. <laughs> and let's go into the guidance cards. Let's see what. Ugh. Why is it talking so much? Okay. Okay. Okay, we're going to stop there. So we got the Heart Guardian. I actually don't get this that much. Um, high Priest, Intend and Create. Earth Guardian, Stay Rooted and Grounded. Drum, Dream and Journey. Arrow, Surround Yourself with Detective Energy. Oh, this is a repeat from uh, Minho. So this tells me that it could be someone really kind of in the group. We could suggest which I've discussed already in my recent video on Stray Kids, so I'm not surprised to see that. Um, Dream and Journey, uh, as I, I strongly believe he has very powerful psychic abilities, and Dream and Journey would definitely indicate that as well, because he's getting a lot of information from dream, like his dreams about his journey like on this earth so that kind of fits in what i've already gotten from him in the past 
Earth Gang stay rooted and grounded. So for people that do have like these kind of abilities, um, it's important to stay like grounded and like connected to this earth, <laughs> like to like this life and not getting lost in sort of like the astral world around us. Because like some people do sort of get lost from reality when they have these kind of abilities. So it's definitely important for him to stay connected. Um, maybe he needs to get outside a little bit more, this could indicate, and like out into nature. I really don't know enough to say if he does that or not. Uh, high priest intending create. This all comes down to like using your energy and putting it into like into a manifestation. So it's like I feel like he has like strong manifestation power, but he's not putting it like he's not using it in like the correct way or he's like sort of maybe this could also indicate that he's sort of like ignoring his natural psychic abilities to a degree. And this is an indicator like, you've been given this for a reason, you need to use it, is sort of the energy I'm getting from this. Like, we gave you these gifts, use it. <laughs> like, quit pretending that they don't exist. You were given them for a reason. It's like the literal message I'm feeling from this card, which is not really what this card needs, but that's what I'm getting. Um, you may have very strong ancestors. That are coming through. <laughs> we have the heart guardian. Love and let yourself be loved. Um, there could be some sort of blockage in his heart chakra. Um, again, there's a lot of things that can cause like a blockage in the heart chakra. It's not always like romantic relationship like went sour that causes that. Sometimes it goes into other things. Um, if this card deals a lot with self acceptance. So maybe that is something he needs to work with. And that's it, you guys. Uh, so the next one will be the Machina line. So all the <laughs> younger members will be in one video. So thank you guys for watching. And I hope you will watch the next video. Or check out some of my other videos that are already up. Bye.